I've never written a CV. <laughs> it's kind of a personal um, goal of mine to never have to apply for a job. I thought that would be pretty cool if you can live a life without having to do that. <laughs> My name's Matthew McGann and I'm working on a startup called Health Horizon. We started it back in 2013 and the idea was that you watch the news all the time and that you, you always see this uh, news story that promises some new health breakthrough. They'll say, scientists say there'll be a, um, that the ANU have discovered a new chemical that has good results in cancer and this could be a cure for cancer in 10 years time. But then you never hear about it again, they all vanish. Um, so we developed a system to track those claims around the world and join the dots so that anyone in the world can track the progress of the health innovations that matter to them. So I started my PhD 2007, that was in physics, in theoretical physics, in plasmas of all things, so it's got nothing to do with health. I didn't really know exactly why I wanted to start it, but I just enjoyed the research and um, a lot of people told me it was the wrong um, career decision to do a, a PhD, but I just didn't believe them, frankly. <laughs> I just thought um, studying something for so long and uh, working so hard and putting together a book and thinking through your thoughts and writing so much, that just has to be super valuable, and it has been. I got distracted from my PhD as I did it. That was kind of the initial cause. Around that time, the university, universities around Australia were just starting this whole kind of innovation thing, and they started an event called Innovation ACT, which I attended and then eventually competed in and then ended up running a few years later. But that, at that event, I met local business leaders and entrepreneurs. And one of those I met back after I submitted my PhD. I gave myself about two weeks off and then I sent him an email and said, I'm just interested in projects, any kind of businesses you might have around. And I think because I had the PhD, he thought, well, rather than just point this guy to a job, well, he, he had seen the future of healthcare and known that it's going to be changing so rapidly and it's going to become the biggest industry there is. Uh, that happened at the end of last year, by the way. Healthcare became the very biggest industry in the world. So he, he knew he wanted to start a business somewhere in that. And so he and I just worked two days a week effectively on a research project to work out where, where the opportunity is. So I met my co-founder during a uni-sponsored uh, entrepreneurship event. I love the flexibility and I love the direct impact. In a startup you're kind of small, it's, it's the effects you have aren't big at least when you're starting out but you know that all your decisions and everything you do commit and contribute to growing this new thing in the world. So that's what I like best about it. It's, it's surprisingly creative and flexible I think it's actually harder than the PhD in many ways because, I mean, for, for example, we're, doing, we're building a data system that is a large project. It's been going for years and we've got developers working on that. So I can see that there's kind of a, there could be a research question in there. It could even lead to publications maybe. So there's that research aspect, but you also have to manage the team. That's the whole thing in and of itself. And then you have to go out there into the world sell what you're doing, um, convince people is valuable, put together a coherent brand, all that kind of stuff. It's, it, it's kind of like a, a, it's a research project just plus a lot more cool real world meaningful stuff. Listen to that voice in your head that's, that might be telling you academia is not for you. All my friends were PhD students for years and it was clear that a lot of people felt like they have to remain in academia even though they didn't. PhD is at that awkward time where you've you've been a student for a maximum point of time, it's the time you can finally become an academic and just to leave then seems not worth it but um, you just have to listen to that voice in your head and work out exactly what you do want and, and follow that out if necessary. <laughs> <laughs>